Hi guys, thank you for joining me for Miracles of Jesus. So today we're going to do a story where Jesus heals somebody and um, again, and uh, it's again out of the International Children's Bible. But before we get started, we always do highs and lows and at the end we do prayers and blessings and I encourage you to do this in your family as well. So my high is that the weather is still beautiful out, I'm thrilled, and uh, no lows, so it's a pretty good day. So let's get started with our story. This is actually in Luke chapter 8, verses probably 42 through 48. And it is just a bit longer, so if I paraphrase a little, that's why. Jarius had only one daughter. She was 12 years old, and she was dying. While Jesus was on, her, on his way to Jairus' house to heal the daughter, the people were crowding all around him. A woman was there, and she had been bleeding for 12 years. She'd spent all of her money on doctors, but no doctor could heal her. The woman came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his coat. At that moment, her bleeding stopped. Then Jesus said, who touched me? All the people said they had not touched Jesus. And Peter said, Master, people are all around you and are pushing against you. But Jesus said, someone did touch me. I felt the power go out from me. When the woman saw that she could not hide, she came forward shaking. She bowed down before Jesus. And while all the people listened, she told why she had touched him. Then, she said, she was healed immediately. Jesus said to her, Dear woman, you are healed because you believed. Go in peace. So, this woman had spent all of her money on doctors trying to find a cure. And no one had been able to help her in 12 long years. Now, one thing that this story doesn't explain that uh, was a cultural norm in Jesus's time was that if somebody was bleeding or hurt in any way, um, they were considered to be unclean. So the only way to be able to go into the synagogue or take part in some of the religious rituals would be to go through a special washing and become clean again. Now, since she never stopped bleeding, well, she was always unclean. And anybody she came in contact with they became unclean too. So when she reached out to touch Jesus's robe, well, she made him unclean. And she had to have known, and everybody there knew, that Jesus would have to go through special washing rituals in order to become ritually or, or clean for some of the rituals, right? And some of the, the religious things that were happening at that time. So... She touched him and she tried to do it in secret. Like, no one will notice. But what's really, really, really cool about this story is you notice Jesus didn't get angry. He wanted to know what happened. He knew something happened. He felt his power go out of him. But he never got angry. In fact, he was glad that she had been healed. And he was glad that she had the faith to believe that simply touching him would heal her. So her taking that power from him, making that choice that she was worth something. It was, she was worth someone to be saved, even though she probably had been told for 12 years that she was unclean and she couldn't come into the synagogue or she wasn't allowed to be part of certain rituals. She saw it a little differently. So whenever it seems like people are knocking you down or saying things that are mean about you, don't believe them. See yourself the way God sees you, which is as somebody who is worthy, have faith in God and God will give you everything you need, whether it be healing or reassurance or comfort. But see yourself through God's eyes and that you are worth the trouble, whatever that may be. Thank you for joining me for miracles. Let's end with prayer and blessings. Dear God, I pray that everybody watching this knows their worth. Amen. Blessings to you, kids. Bless your parents. Parents, bless your kids. I'll see you guys later.